हेलो एवरी वन गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम बैक टू ऑल कंप्यूटर क्लासेस स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव रीच टू पार्ट फोर ऑफ चैप्टर थ्री एंड टूडेज टॉपिक्स आर फॉर्मेटिंग अ टेबल चेंजिंग रो हाइट एंड कॉलम वेथ स्प्लिटिंग सेल्स एंड मर्जिंग सेल्स सो ऑल दीज टॉपिक्स आर फॉर फॉर्मेटिंग योर टेबल चेंजिंग द अपेरेंस टू मेक योर टेबल लुक मोर बेटर एंड मोर रीडेबल राइट एंड मोर अट्रैक्टिव so let's begin with the first one so formatting controls the overall appearance of the table how we can do that we can make the table look more attractive more readable by applying various table styles right by changing the row height and column width as we as much we require by splitting and merging the cells whenever and wherever it is required right so let's learn how we can apply the table styles right so for applying table styles what we need to do we just need to click anywhere on the table that we have created and we will get this table tools and in this table tools we have this design tab the moment we click on the design tab we will get to see these this table style gallery out of these designs or styles whatever design appeals to us we can select it by just clicking on it and we are done right so let's do it practically and learn how we can apply the table styles so this is our table that we created yesterday now the first thing that we are going to do today is we are going to apply table styles now you are not able to see the table tools here right the moment we click on the table anywhere we will get this table tools and in the table tools the first tab is design tab you click over it and we get this table styles whichever style we like we can click and choose if we want to see more of the style just click on this arrow and we can choose any style that we like right or if we want to change just click again and choose the style right so this way we can apply table styles right it is available in the design tab right now next is changing the row height and column width right when we talk about width so this is the width in a cell this is the width we are talking about this side when we talk about row height so it is this way right so row height and column width that we will learn how we can change now when we want to change it again we will click on the cell whose height or width we want to change or if we want to change the height and width of all the cells of a table then we need to click the entire table otherwise we will just click on the cell where we want to apply the changes the moment you will select the desired location you will get to see again the table tools here we are going to make the structural change so that will be available in the layout tab and we will get to see this table size in the table size we have the height and width height this way and width this way so we can use these two arrows in order to increase or decrease for increasing we will choose this and for decreasing we will choose this right same way for the width if we want to increase we will choose the upper one and click over it as many times as much width you want and at the bottom for decreasing right now let's move and now let's say i want to change the height and width of this cell right now i have clicked on this i have two ways i'll teach you the simple one from this then the other way now i have i want to change the height and width of the cell i'll click on the layout and i want to increase the height so i will just click over it right so the entire rows height will be changed the change is not apply to all the other rows or columns right now if i want to increase the width 
so i will click over this right so only the changes are being applied to with regard to this cell right rest of the column width are same right now let's see if i want to apply the change on on the entire table so how we can do that let's undo this now you see this arrow i'll select my table entire table now increase the row height and increase the column width right so we can do this this is very simple right other way to increase or decrease is to just select your table right click go on table properties click here here you will have a row tab specify the height you can increase or you can decrease so i have increased the height by 1 inch now i want to decrease the width so i want 0.9 inches so i'll click okay so height is increased and width is decreased so this is how your cell so sorry your table is appearing right now you're not comfortable with again you want to make the changes so in select your entire table decrease the height and decrease the width got it this is very simple next is splitting cells and merging cells splitting means dividing merging means we are merging two or more cells so again we are making the change in the structure of the table physical structure of the table is being changed so we will choose the layout tab again and here we have merge and split cells right so splitting cell means dividing the selected cell into two separate cells merging when we want to combine two or more cells to make them as a single cell this is called merging so for splitting at least one cell should be selected for merging at least two cells should be selected right so let's perform splitting and merging now if i want to merge these two cells so i need to select at least two cell for merging so i selected now the layout tab is already open and we have this merge cells now here merging merge the selected cell into one cell so it has made it as a one cell now i want to merge two cells now you tell me what are the steps the step is to select the two cells so my cells are highlighted it means these two cells are selected i'll click on merge cell now now i if i want to merge these two cell one method is also available after selecting the two cells right click and click on merge cell right right for example if you want to split this into two rows right so how we can do that now we will go for splitting so you have selected the one cell go on the split cell so it will ask you how many rows or columns you want so you want two rows and one column right so this is one column only and two rows now let's make two columns and one row so it will be vertical so i have selected the cell click on the split cells so i want two columns and one cell so it is vertical right so it has made two columns it has made two rows so this is splitting and this is merging so students i hope you are clear with splitting and merging so students i hope you are clear with all the topics of today's class see you in the next video till then keep practicing and keep practicing okay take care and goodbye see you tomorrow with a new video good night